So in the first section, we're going to do basic buttons and switches. I have a D3100 here, um, and I'm going to go over the buttons and switches part um, of the camera, things you just sort of need to know. Some of them you'll use a lot, some of them you'll never touch once you have them set. The first one is the on-off switch. That's the dial here. It's on, it's off, very simple. The second is the shutter release button, which is a silver button. When the camera is on and I push the button, it takes the picture. On the Nikons, if your lens is not in the manual mode, you will end up, or manual, fo okay, back that up. On a Nikon, if your camera's lens is not in the autofocus mode, it'll be in manual mode and your focus ring is out here at the edge of the lens. The big ring that has the numbers here um, are for taking pic or changing the zoom. These are millimeters. Um, designations about where your zoom is, what the focal length of your uh, lens is. On the top of the camera, you have this dial. Uh, this is the mode dial, we'll talk more about that, but the switch underneath it here that slides, um, the top button or the top position is single every time I push the shutter button. Uh, shutter release button, it will take a single picture. If I move that down, it will take more than one picture. Think of it like semi-automatic. I push the button down, it keeps taking pictures. The next switch down, a self-timer, you hit the button and it will take a picture 10 seconds later. Uh, that's the default. You can always change it later. The last section or the last dial is Q, which is a quiet mode. It won't beep or make noise. So if you're at like a wedding or something and you don't want there to be lots of beeping and commotion, um, you would set that to quiet. Uh, on the back of the camera is a button that has the AEL, AFL. That's your auto exposure and auto focus lock. So if I am taking a picture, I push the button halfway down. If I hit the AL button, um, that will lock the exposure, but it'll also lock the focus so I can recompose my image without the camera changing anything um, on automatic mode. To turn the flash on, that only works if it's in the manual modes, which are the modes that are in this bracket we'll talk more about later. You simply hit the button on the side, which will make the flash engage. To keep the flash from engaging in an automatic mode, never mind, forget that one. Uh, on the side of your viewfinder that you look through, there's, on the side of the viewfinder that you look through, there's a little dial here that allows you to focus uh, the actual eyepiece that's here. So if you wear glasses, um, you can adjust your focus um, and not have to shoot with your glasses on. Image review is this top button. Uh, when you've taken a picture, it'll pop up an image review right away, but then it will go away to save the battery. You would just hit that button again and it'll show you your image. Live view is when you take uh, a, this button or this dial and slide it over and it will actually show you on this screen what the camera is seeing so you don't have to look through the viewfinder. On the side of the lens here, so let me turn the camera this way. On the side of the lens here are two switches that you need to make sure stay in the automatic and on position. This top switch is autofocus or manual focus. You always want that to be on the A so that it will automatically focus the lens for you. This button down here at the or switch at the bottom is the vibration reduction or VR button. You always want that on. That allows the lens to float a little bit so that if you're vibrating a little bit, it'll actually steady the lenses uh, in the camera. Uh, 